Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. According to the story here on LockerGnome.com, the one linked in the video description, palsy, aging, and implants, in 2009, Intel said we would have the technology to control computers with only brain waves by 2020. Uh, and by 2011, things had advanced in other directions, uh, being able to control uh, technology by uh, different means other than you know your fingers or potentially uh, by voice. You may have remembered a, a while ago, uh, I uh, had done a video in Germany where I controlled a, a keyboard using my brainwaves. And there have been technologies out there. I mean, it's a little bit of a kludge right now, uh, but it's certainly interesting to think about for the future. Uh, another article that we pulled up, uh, computer chip implants for human tracking. Kind of giving yourself a barcode. On an article uh, posted that we linked to uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the story itself, quotes, uh, the Food and Drug Administration said that the applied digital solutions of D D Delray Beach, Florida, could market the Verichip, an implantable computer chip about the size of a grain of rice for medical purposes. With a pinch of a syringe, the microchip is inserted under the skin in a procedure that takes less than 20 minutes and leaves no stitches. Silently and invisibly, the dormant chip stores a code that releases patent, I'm sorry, patient specific information when a scanner passes over it, like a UPC code of sorts. So, um, my dogs have a microchip. Would, uh, would you take a microchip? Would you chip your kids? Uh, would you chip yourself? And I think a lot of people, their knee-jerk reaction is, no, I'd never chip myself. Well, what if, uh, what if there are certain benefits to this? And I'm just playing devil's advocate, okay? Um... What could that chip, how, how could it benefit you? Well, if you were older and you were worried about your medical condition, uh, you know, if you did not have a card on you that told uh, the, the people who are, you know, potentially going to operate on you or, you know, pick you up if, if something bad happened to you, uh, the chip can contain all your patient information, a drug history, uh, contact information, everything that they might need to know. Would you chip your grandparents? It'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? I chipped my grandparents. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to get chipped. They probably wouldn't know what was going on. No, it's it's like it's it's like ice cream. Ah, that was an ice cream. You, Psh. um, that would be my, my grandpa. Psh. You see my grandpa I had videos already on uh, our YouTube channel a few days ago. Uh, so oh, I'm sorry, I, I need to move that over a bit. I didn't realize the chat was a bit off. It's elderly folks who wander away could benefit exactly. So this is not something that I think everybody's going to do. At some point, it be, may become mandated. At which point, a lot of conspiracy theorists will uh, go nuts. Uh, you know, I think the idea of tracking uh, permanently, uh, on a permanent basis with something that's inside of you, uh, I have no problem doing it with dogs because dogs run away. They can't speak for themselves. Uh, you know, tags can be removed and, you know, chips, if, you know, they needed to be removed, I'm sure could be removed as well. Uh, but it's, it's provided that safety layer. And I think uh, the, when I have kids, they may not be chipped per se, but I will likely have some kind of device on them that would allow me to monitor their location. Not because I'm creepy, not because I'm a big brother, uh, but because I'm a parent. Uh, and because I care uh, for the kids enough to want to make sure they remain safe and know where they are. Uh, and I think that uh, would worry a parent most if they didn't know where uh, their kids happen to be. But would you take a computer chip implant today? Uh, what would it take? For you to do it or you know what would it take for you not to do it? what if it becomes mandated that you have to put a chip in you or your kids or your parents is it a foregone conclusion that we're going to be chipped I mean, we're kind of being tracked anyway not just you know be flippant about it but um it's it's just going to be interesting to see how uh, this plays out the the future of uh humans and uh technology something to to consider would you do it